Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the t Group A tiebreaker between Le Peg and Yatsik. Oh, this is the first time I've seen Yatsik's colours. It feels like. I wonder if he's edited them. Who knows? But anyway, he's got black and cream. Orcs, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Versus like cyan and black. Undead. So there you go. Funnily enough, everybody on this group finished on five points, except Blue Max. But basically, they all beat Blue Max, and then they all drew against each other. But Kfog beat him 2-1, whereas Lepeg and Yatsik only beat him 1-0. So, it's a three-way tie on points, but Kfog wins the group, and Lepeg and Yatsik have to play off. Um, Lepeg won the toss, chose to receive. Two guard mummies, guard white, Tackle White, which is dead for this game. Blocker and a wrestler, two defenseless ghouls. Meanwhile, Yatsik, four guard biggins. And a um, tackle blitzer to hit ghouls with. Oh, and this is this is how he's fit everything on the team. He's got two rerolls and an apple, but he's also got the leader to make it three rerolls. But of course, he's not playing on defense because it's fragile. So he's, he's down a skill on defense but it means he does have the highest you know the heaviest team he can field on defense you don't really want to field the throw on defense so that makes sense if it was a three-way tie there would have been like some kind of mini tournament glorious. they no, did publish rules until I'm victorious, they did publish rules on and it. i will defend Whoa. i will defend wow Glorious. Thank you very much, Jeff. No, I won't what a give legend. In until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will defend. Oh, Jim Con! Yes! I can use my own emotes! <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Ooh, greasy crits for the mummy. Oh, my movement too! The mummy's, the mummy's a tree man! <laughs> no, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in oh, until I'm victorious, and I will oh, defend. I will defend. It's absolutely hilarious. I mean, you have to protect him so much now because, like, he's got a target on his head like you wouldn't believe, right? Like, you have to target him and knock him down. That's unbelievable. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Jeff. And thank you for the gifts up for me as well. Woohoo! <laughs> I, can, I can finally... I can finally use my own emotes. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> That's pretty funny, isn't it? I mean, sad that, you know, somebody else didn't get them, but honestly, I like using the emote, so that's good. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's gonna blitz! <laughs> So he doesn't get knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's actually great. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll have to roll. You'll have to roll a four plus to stand up. Yep. Yep. Yes, he will. Oh, wow. What an actual brutal kickoff result. Nobody thinks about that when they uh, when they're so happy to say undead are one of the best teams in the game. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. Well, he didn't hurt anything, did he? He got two knockdowns, no AV breaks. He's got the ball. I don't like coming back this far, but foul the old foul the troll. I don't know if it's Sent off instant. 
fails to argue, sent off. Yeah, well, at least he got a stun. Yeah, it's just the half, I think. Or maybe the drive. The drive. Yep, one and argue the call, sent off. The coach is sent off. Which will actually be significant um, on assistant coach as well, right? He's got one, whereas Yasik's got two. So now he's adding plus two instead of plus one. Yeah, that's that's actually brutal. This is a brutal start for Lepeg, isn't it? He hasn't. He's only broke AV. He's lost to a zombie, and this mummy is uh, feeling very bad. These orcs look cool. I I got I get a feeling Yatsik might have had default orcs in the earlier rounds, <laughs> and maybe he took to heart the fact that he had a, an uncustomized team. Well, unpainted. Right? <laughs> they can't ban it. It'll be absolute dicing. Uh, it's only the ghoul. Everything else can regen. But yeah, if the, if the coach is being sent off, ghouls don't ever regen. Dicing. Yeah, this is going to be a tough drive for the pack. Very popular and therefore a tough game. A very tough game. Shuffle everything around. Do. Let's see what he does. So yeah, this is a just a simple one-off match with overtime enabled, and the winner will progress to the knockout stage in second place. I can tell you that Jacek is Polish and qualified through the season four official playoffs. And the peg is French and qualified through KGVM, the World Championship Qualifier. Wow! It, so th this is this is uh... <laughs> this is. <laughs> yeah, darker. Uh, so I think um, I think what I'd have done, I'd have put in like the mummy, right, and then blitz with the other and kept them together. But um, the problem is, if you ever engage with this mummy, he's likely to just get knocked down, right? And if he's knocked down, he might not have a stand-up again. But then, if you don't use him, he might as well be a goblin. <laughs> so, it's pretty horrible, isn't it? does get hit anyway. I would expect.
Maybe he's not blitzing him. Man, I would have just instantly... I would have put my guard in there. And I would have put an assist in there and I would have 2 d would him. But I guess... Maybe that's a bit greedy, eh? Oh, he's got this guy to blitz. Yeah, okay, then 3 dicing him is fine, actually. Yeah, 3 dicing him is fine with Mighty Blow. And then you've got a big wall. And it's up to the it's up to the undead to try and do something, and when they try and do something, that's when you can blitz the guy and he can never stand up again. <laughs> I mean he might just stand up straight away, but you know. Chances are he's gonna feel real bad. This is tricky, isn't it? Very tricky. Like, this mummy can't even go anywhere. <laughs> like, like, mummies are slow. <laughs> this one's a tree. <laughs> He's a strength boss tree. Oh, man. looks this looks awful doesn't it <laughs> this looks absolutely awful yeah exactly yeah yeah no I did I definitely like to be fair I didn't see that I didn't see the uh, zombie that he blitzed last turn so yeah it makes absolute sense to 3d him and yeah exactly right like I w I'd want to I'd want to blitz this guy and then knock him down like further out of position right but um it doesn't really matter, does it? it make sense just to stand in a big line and uh, and then when they when they come up just beat them off and uh, keep beating them off until they're too tired to come anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it did, yeah. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> no, this is this is an absolute disaster for the uh, for the undead. But things can change, right? Things can change. It's pretty terrible now. But, you know, some bad rolls or whatever, and then, you know, there could be a breakaway or something, and everything can change. Yeah, I'd have definitely hit the mummies first. Ooh. But then the mummy is blockless, so maybe he, he's only got yeah he's only got two rerolls. So maybe he would have accepted the both down. But I mean, it wasn't even a both down; it was a double skull. So actually, yeah, to be fair, the the hits on the mummies are blockless, whereas the blitz is with block. So blitzing first, absolutely fine. In fact, maybe correct. Though I guess he did just blitz this guy. Whereas if he'd done this block first, he could have blitzed the ghoul, right? I would actually quite like to blitz this ghoul. 
So I guess I would have done that hit. And then I would have uh, maybe split the skill, actually. Thinking about it. I feel like blitzing the skillless white isn't so good. But this ghoul, if you can bang him out, pretty strong. And yeah, obviously you're just going to knock him away and not, not follow. <laughs> he might not even stand up. <laughs> and if he can, he can't go anywhere. Oh, man. Why he hasn't set up the mummy yet? He must be gonna rush with him, right? Rerolls. I don't know why. I don't know why. Dear. Le Peg is in a lot of trouble. Le Peg in Le Pickle. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, you can move over here. But these are all movement five, so just come with you. Fun of this, uh, not fun of that reroll at all. Well, the problem is it's movement two, right? So he didn't, he didn't want it knocked over. <laughs> it was actually brutal. Yeah, the, uh, the um, the greasy cleats, the greasy cleats. Have absolutely annihilated this mummy. <laughs> yes, Ali, really, yes. Pretty much. I mean, it's not even trap space, is it? It's, just, it's not even getting anywhere. It's not like... It would be trap space if it was here. Because it'd still be getting slammed into hard. But it's not even... It's not even really space here, is it? It's just lateral and not very far. Why, there's a tree on the ground, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny, isn't it? Oh dear, look at this, we've got the chain. And the stun. Oh dear lords. And we're going to get a tackle blitz. On the ball. Eventually. Maybe he's thinking about whether he should re-roll this, if it's a POW. It's not, oh, or if it's a bolt down, he can't re-roll that. He has to be super careful now, right, with one re-roll. He has to be very, uh, well, he doesn't have to be, but I think it's natural to be very, very conservative with only one re-roll. Doesn't want to just you know, open himself up to the undead rolling some dice. This tackler is now exposed and could be tagged off. Maybe, maybe this wasn't so bad from Le Peg last time. I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, maybe it wasn't so ineffective. Never, it was never bad, but maybe it was wasn't so ineffective because maybe he can push up now. Maybe Yatsik should have been wider, right? Maybe he shouldn't have made this blitz. Maybe was the one what was the word one furthest over, like here? One, two, three, four. He could have just had a big in here, right? <laughs> I 
You can even switch back. Oh god. So you can either turn the corner or you can switch back, right? There are the two options for Lipeg. I didn't like not guarding the sideline here. I think if you guard the sideline here, like if this guy's here, and then these two are here, then everything's kind of covered, isn't it? Can't really switch back so much. And, uh, like maybe if this guy was that blitzer or whatever. Something. I'd want them to be in here. I wouldn't want no, no strength over here. So this, this guy out there and this guy there. And then this guy here and that guy there. I mean, if he could have done, I don't know exactly what he could have done. But I would have wanted to cover the sideline. For sure. I am here. Yeah, this 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 guy probably should have stayed out here. And then he could have got to the sideline, right? I guess now this lineman can get to the sideline, but everything else has got to come over on that. Both mummies down this turn, though. And... 2D on the ball? Yeah. Yeah, 2D on the ball. So... This is, uh... Grim, isn't it? Yes, Salakas, yeah, one-off match with um, potential overtime, yes. I mean, there's no real recovery, but still, smashing the ball is pretty nice, isn't it? If you're not just happy with beating them off, you can always just come come for them and smash the ball. Well, hey, thanks, punter. He hasn't hit the ball. Wow, I would have hit the ball. I guess this cuts off the uh, switchback, but it's how much can you stop not switching? And he didn't move the lineman that was here out wide. So you've just let them away. That's really weird. What a really weird turn. The first thing I would have done would have taken that, that lineman and put him out wide. That would have been literally the first thing I would have done. him but somehow he's just got a free route up the sideline he can score like I mean he can actually score okay it's not free he's he freed him up okay well I mean nearly free it's pretty free now <laughs> okay it's not completely free but it's, it's pretty free oh my god he's filled all three stand-up roles 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, really, like, like, if that, if that lineman, I don't know where, here? Or here, whichever one it is, if he's there, then all of a sudden this looks horrible for him, doesn't it? Because he's, he's absolutely cut off this area. And just an extra player over here, like this guy, over here, and it looks great. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need. If only everyone had timber. Oh, really, really, Rock. It was that he needed the removal to get that guy over. I did. I, I was confused how he got him over because I didn't think anything was coming over. I mean, he is going to get surrounded, but. You know he's got he's got three players left. <laughs> you know some things you can't really control. <laughs> so yeah, he's definitely gonna get surrounded. I think this guy had to go further, right? I think he had to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he had to run up there as well, like Max. Probably had to rush with this guy and just have the have the sideline up here. As far as possible forward. Yeah, he had to get in range. He absolutely had to. Absolutely had to get in range. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was pretty. It could have been pretty damaging. He could have had. He could have been down here. He could have had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have had player there, player there, player there ball here, right, can't get surfed, lots of players in range, in, out in front, and yeah, he would have got back, but he wouldn't have got back and crushed them like he's about to, so yeah, he had to make lots of rolls that turn, I think. Now, now he's going to get heavily pressured <laughs> Harley I right, gets the tackle hit here and can plop tackle on the ball if he wants as well can't he this is, seems as good a time as Eddie to commit it but he doesn't keeps him back still something back in the middle right like maybe this guy here and then this guy back in the middle I mean I, I would have I would have gone base contact here trying more for the turnover right like I I would have maybe uh, I would have well, I would have blitzed the ball last turn I would have gone probably more I would have probably gone more like, you know, get the turnover score here. <laughs> He's filled every stand up roll, hasn't he? Like four stand up rolls in a four stand up rolls in a row. That's absolutely crushed him that the the uh the greasy cleats. What a stupid what a stupid kick off result. <laughs> absolutely ruined him. Yeah, yeah, the tackle, the tackle going in there would have been pretty solid, I think, especially backed up with a big one, just for the drive, just for the drive, so he won't be completely uh, ruined. 
Ruined? How did he do this through, wasn't he? Now he's faltering. Oh my god, he's made the fall. Oh god. Now there's a three, but he's got his last reroll. Gets it, and he's not in range. He had to be in range last turn. He just had to be. Funny that, isn't it? If he if he'd done that, I mean, it would have been dice rolls last time, so he might have been out of re rolls here. But I think he just had to uh, he had to push further last turn. You know, it's sometimes you've got you've got to just make peace with the fact that you're not gonna you're not gonna score on turn eight, right? And it's better to score than not score because you might defend. You might defend the counter score. Oh wow, he gets the gets the troll with the uphill. Fails. So he does have the slimmest scoring threat for turn 8. Has to reroll. Gets the pow. An AV break here. Defends the touchdown. He's out of range. So he's free rolling for a counter score now. Man, that's annoying. You really want to get the serve, but you, he's definitely going to uphill surf you back. <laughs> and he didn't get the surf himself. <laughs> He's a hundred percent just gonna uphill surf you with the uh, with this guy. Well, maybe not, right? Maybe. Oh yeah. There's not. Much, there's not much else he can do. He so might as well do that and then um, try and tag this scoring threat again. This is like the real, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, pass, and then he hands off. So this is his prime relay piece. And that's his other one. So you could target the relays. But you probably got to surf this dude. Because <laughs> his chance isn't very good, is it, without a reroll? Tough call. Tough call for Lipeg. Gets a removal. He's really failed to stand up again. <laughs> Like failed like five four pluses <laughs> when it shouldn't have had to make any. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. 
Wow, just for the drive. Just for the drive. Otherwise, I mean, it would be insane, wouldn't it, if he just got ruined? Yeah, mummy out of the drive is the yeah, but I mean, it can just happen. It can just happen with. Uh, it can just happen with the officious ref gun. It could just send him off. Officious ref could have just sent him off for the whole match. So like kickoff events, it's not even the worst kickoff event, is it? But it it was brutal. It was an absolutely brutal kickoff event. But yeah, not even the worst. It's pretty easy, right? It's just a rush, a pass, and then a handoff and a score. I'm pretty sure. And fails the pickup. You could have maybe like done a 2D somewhere. So the blitzer stays out. The sent off guy is replaced with a rookie, so no damage. And nil nil. So not the end of the world for the peg. You can definitely get this to overtime, right? You can definitely just defend and get to overtime. Maybe count a score and win in normal time. Not out of it. He, you know, he maybe he might he may be in a worse place mentally after he got so absolutely beasted that drive, thanks to the Predator Nuffle and Orcs being good and having four guard. Um, but he's not out of it, and uh, I mean. Yatik didn't really display any desire, enough desire to get the one nil up for me. I think he'll be very happy with getting the uh, nil nil stop, and obviously must trust himself to win one nil now. But uh, I personally, I think I would have pushed a bit more for the defensive score uh, if I was the Orcs. At, at some point, I would have, uh, I would have, you know, started trying to get the turnover. Oh, Mrs. Fez. Good luck. Monsieur Le Peg. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, maybe disgruntled orc, but like... Like, the officious ref mummy is horrendous, isn't it? Uh, Dimmy had a mummy hit by a rock when he played... <laughs> when he played uh, Canor in Super League. <laughs> he got one mummy hit by a rock and the other blitzed into Kaz on turn one. He just had no mummies. <laughs> oh, sorry to me, but that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Just absolutely instantly bodied turn one. GG. And uh, hello, Tulian. Mr. <laughs> oh, let's make a... <laughs> let's make a... Uh... A feedback channel, but we don't actually want any feedback. Not from you, Thulian. You and your agenda of wanting good rule set. <laughs> Pushing an agenda of <laughs> wanting the biggest tournament of the year to be enjoyable. <laughs> what a dirtbag. What an absolute dirtbag. Well, changing weather doesn't go out and it is very deep. So this is the sort of kick that Undead can do something with, right? Yeah, he's probably going to pick it up, but he's so slow. It's going to take him like three turns to get back to the LOS. So in that time, you know, is he going to bring back more orcs to cage? Is he going to bring, bring back some? Is he, you know, is he just going to try and like hold this area? Is he going to... Because, like, he can stay up here, he can drop down to here, he can drop really far back, like some people do. And then, you know, they've got fast skills, they can do things. So, yeah, this is super interesting. Absolutely nothing to talk about. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Back in your box. <laughs> Off your toddle, Tulian. 
<laughs> Let's just hear from some random people saying, well, I like Blood Bowl, so I don't care what the rules are, so that means this is a good rule set. <laughs> Thumbs up for them. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can't post for six hours. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? It's so weird. The podcasts, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow, isn't it? The podcast tomorrow, not tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, what's he called? PC is going to do a, going to do an orb about it, I think. I think. Nope. Yeah, so one there, and then one, two, three, four. Did you, Thulian? Wow. Wow. It's a KO, that. Was it a clown emoji? <laughs> See, it's bad if you clown them. It's just, it's just good if you clown me, right? As long as you clown me, that's okay. Yeah. If you clown them, though, now you're a bad person. That's how it works. That's how it works. So he's decided to keep the high line. This is okay, it's just a bit brittle, right? It's only a little bit brittle, because at the end of the day you can go forward five and then these can come back six. I would have preferred to have just drop back a little bit, right? So you're in like this kind of area. And then you're a bit closer to the boy next turn. Uh, whereas if you go back too far, you're just inviting pressure and it's terrible. So I'd, I'd rather go for this kind of thing than this kind of thing, right? When I think when people go here, it usually ends in disaster. All the clowns, it's really funny. <laughs> yeah to be fair it's a lot less upsetting that this is the rule set for Hungary than like if it had been the rule set for Malta right? <laughs> or Spain or something yeah, oh well who cares we, we can give Hungary a pass <laughs> Mind, I'll still go if people pay me. If anybody wants me on their national team for Euroball, all you've got to do is pay for all my flights and accommodation <laughs> and spending money, <laughs> and then I'll go. <laughs> Any team can just have three random people in Euroball. They may want that, yeah, they may want that. I'll play any team. Whatever the team requires. <laughs> hey. I'm not asking for much, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not asking, it's just an offer. If anybody wants to, they can. There's no real way to get any threat on the ball here, is there? So, which is a bit sad. Well, I mean, a bit sad, a bit sad for the peg. You know, well played by Yatsik to keep this pretty tight, pretty good. 
pretty good, held the higher line well, didn't really let him in behind. And on turn three, we'll be back to the halfway line. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not bothered by stacking. It seems weird to me why people are so uh, against stacking. That seems that's the one thing that I disagree with. Forget Euro Ball. We've got the World Championship way better. <laughs> Nobody can really dispute that. Um, people might have disputed it in 2024, but no one's disputing it in 2025. This is absolutely way better than Euro Ball now. Unquestionably. And of course, a uh, nice little prize pool as well. 8,000 euros total. Winner gets two and a half. It's a little bit tricky to um to do everything, right? He was a little bit he had a little bit too much over here, right? Or or rather he probably should have stood here. He probably should have just stood here, right? If he if he stands here with the uh thrower, he's I think he's a lot better off. Never release the data, just pretend you were. Oh, okay. You're on Blood Bowl. Honestly, do you know what? Do you know what? <laughs> when people say they'll make their own X with blackjack and hookers, neither of those things are very appealing. Blackjack's like rubbish. Actively just rubbish. <laughs> and hookers, hmm. So what? So, um, yeah, I've never really understood that. I can't even say the thing that I thought of, but <laughs> there's other things. <laughs> it seems just a really weird thing. I know to me. I mean, <laughs> so do wives. <laughs> It's a pal. I, like, I don't know what LePeg's plan is here, right? It's pretty rough. It doesn't look like... Very good for the undead, does it?
It's turn tw it is turn 12 though, right? I guess it's taken him three turns to get to the halfway line. Maybe Le Peg can just stand in the way. And I guess he doesn't want to hit with the mummies too much because he wants to save the rerolls for overtime, right? Because realistically, the only way Le Peg is winning this is in overtime. And not the only way, but the, the most likely way he wins this is in overtime. Like if he was one nil down, if he was, if he, yeah, if he was, if he was one nil down, then all he could do was win in overtime, right? But <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Squirrel Dude. Yeah, like I'm, I'm not. I don't think it's like. <laughs> it's not really my idea of a good time and neither neither's blackjack at least if it was poker it would be better like, you know poker's quite good so turn four and he's still not in his you know it's not over halfway line but he's trying to give himself some options here isn't he with the uh, the two clusters He's down a Blitzer, so he's got a little bit less movement than normal. I mean, I guess he was quoting something, but don't watch. I don't watch things. <laughs> Oh no, not poker against the house. Oh my god, I know people who play poker against the house. That seems like the dumbest stuff ever. But, um, you know, Texas, bit of Texas Hold'em. Pretty good. I mean, not particularly amazing, right? Not particularly amazing, but certainly at least enjoyable. Not as good as Blood Bowl. <laughs> I'd rather play my friends at Blood Bowl for money than poker. <laughs> nah, it's not. I mean, I mean, everything. You know, you get diced in poker as well. I lost against King Nine when I had kings once. I wasn't very happy. What I think's funny is in the movies, like casinos are like glamorous somehow, and yet in real life they're just like a magic tournament. <laughs> or a or a blood ball one. Bunch of nerds with backpacks out for the day. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Blood Bowl is a better example because there's elderly people playing Blood Bowl, isn't there? <laughs> yes, a lot more Chinese people than, than Magic Tournaments, yes, granted. Well, I was talking about specifically about Poker Tournaments, to be fair. To be fair... Nope. Yeah, he blocked. He wanted to get this big and out there, right? Yeah, that's why I moved him back. So he's getting a bit of forward movement up there. I mean, imagine he's going to slam in with a mummy now. He finally deploy the mummy. Oh, troll goes dumb. He's 
he's going to tag out the mummies. Yeah, that's the problem with keeping the mummies able to react, is they just get tagged out. <laughs> that's pretty funny, the boom. Have to rush with the ball. <laughs> he could just, he could just, uh, do nothing. Like Blitz's mummy free it it's, it's the, the problem with these mummies in the middle like aha I react with the mummies. Oh. Oh no I won't, will I? Now I've got to blitz them free so they can react next turn. <laughs> but you know while they the mummies haven't been proactive, they have got in the way at least. He's held the space in front of the orcs till turn thirteen. Only three turns left. But yeah, there's nothing glamorous about slot machines, is there? Like, Jesus Christ. What an awful... What an awful... <laughs> thing. I can't think of words to describe, but yeah, slot machines are bad, aren't they? He could, uh, he could double rush this zombie at the end, right, attack him out. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So it was his idea was to blitz him onto him. He pushed him the wrong way! No! You have to push him to here. <laughs> if only there was a place to tag both mummies. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, he failed. It's tough, isn't it? Because Orcs just don't get the cutback that most teams get. They could hand off to this Blitzer and run up. But, like, they have to do, like, a, a handoff play to do that. Whereas other teams can just cut back at the ball, can they? But... Orcs do have some problems. They're not, like, amazing. As some people paint them to be. the pound. Tell you what, this might uh, this might be a stop for Lepeg. Looked really rubbish at one point, but he's managed to uh, hold the line. 
I guess Yasek hasn't really like piled in at any point, has he? So he's maybe been a little bit passive. But Well, it's it's a tiebreaker match, uh, Disgruntled Orc, so it will go to overtime. Um, so it's an inevitably win for both coaches. <laughs> One of them will, you know, even if it's decided by uh, kicks, there will be a winner and a loser. And one will be eliminated and one will make it to the round of 32 group stage. Group stage, the round of 32 knockout stage. I just misspoke. I do apologize. Is he gonna tag the uh, mummy with the blitzer? Seems kind of worth it, doesn't it? I, I probably would. He did push that stun player in his own path, yep. Yeah. Classic. No, he doesn't, he doesn't. So now, oh, he dodges to do it. Oh my goodness. Pretty tempting to blitz this guy to chin him back, isn't it? Even if it's not that good a thing to do. At the end of the day, now, as much as Lepeg would like to have three rerolls for overtime, he just has to spend them if he like to get the stop. He has to spend them right. There's no point in having rerolls but losing 1 0. And same for Yatsik, he's just got to reroll anything he needs to reroll to get the score done. Probably had to do that anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> but the peg was really incentivized to play. Well, both of them, both of them were actually just both, to, they were both highly incentivized to like play as passively as possible to conserve rerolls. Whereas now. Now that the peg's within, like, you know, touching distance of, like, defending it. I feel like both of them can start being a bit braver with the reroll usage. Don't have to go as hyper-conservative as they probably should have been before. I would have put both ghouls back, I think, right? So they can't get hit by the tackler. I guess he can't put them both back because he's got to dodge this guy out last. It's better to have somebody in front than behind. And he gets the dodge out. Decent defense, decent, decent, decent. The so turn 15 has to get Mr. Throw into scoring range. It's only one square forward, that's all he needs. And then basically two, so he can't get pushed out. So he basically has to get two squares forward with the ball. And do as much as possible with everything else. No knockdown for tackle. He's 
seen a bit of a pickle. nothing to that gal. Mm, not sure about that. I feel like blitzing him and then putting the guard in there to, to make this hit was better than putting the guard back there. Could have got a guard in there. Maybe it was better. A blockless blitz. A blockless blitz. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to be so depressing out of the talk of blackjack and hookers. I've just never really understood the appeal of either. <laughs> well, I mean, there's an obvious certain appeal, but you know, I mean, still not not very appealing, is it? <laughs> Go stronger armies. Casually holding about twenty pints. For the entire game. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Things are happening. Things are happening. Is he going to try to score? Eating into his time bank now, below three minutes. I don't know what the plan is here. Looking like the plan is to get wrestled. <laughs> I've got to tell you, the plan looks like it's getting the ball carrier one dice blitzed and sacked. It's not even it's not even that easy, is it? He's, he'd have to he'd have to do a four three. Yeah, plus the hand up. It's not great, is it? But then neither's not doing it. <laughs> yeah, two, three, four, three, two. But instead, we're just going with getting one diced. Yeah, I still think it's a play, yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh, you can get two diced on it if he makes a one in nine dodge. I didn't even see this guy. <laughs> He can punch the guy. And if you make a dodge, you've got a 2D on the ball. Oh, if he pals this! Oh! He's, uh... He could block this and then assist. Oh, wait, no, no, he's just stood up. Ah, so he can't do that. That's annoying, isn't it? You can't 1D here. Realistically, you can't 1D here. 
If he'd, if he'd had something free, he could have uh, blocked this guy, right? And if he powered him, the guard would have come in. would have been great. But there's no, there's no way, like, the 1D's no better than the dodge here. So, yeah, just cover against it failing. So, do you 1D or 2D? Well, we've already decided we're 2D. <laughs> Has to re-roll. Gets the power. I mean, didn't have to re-roll there, actually. But, completely understandable auto re-roll. You know, make sure you get to overtime. Which he's done now. Yeah, 1D, exactly right. If he'd done the 1D... Oh, the tier he's... Oh, no! Oh, the peg! Yeah, peg! What are you doing? What a reroll! Oh my goodness! Yeah. You could have one deed and only reroll the skull, right? And then you've got the guy to react and maybe score if you do the 1D if you do the 2D you might fail the dodge and not get any D well, hey. um, but then if you make it you've got 2D and then you know if you want to put a reroll in you can and stuff oh man that, that 1D there with a like using one of your two rerolls for all the time there is brutal. Cause you, it's looking very likely, isn't it? There's only what this this lineman left who can score. In the crowd, flip me, guys. It's a three. Oh, it's in a tackle zone. Oh. So it's a three, four, three, four, not two, four, three, <laughs> two. It's a lot of dice, isn't it? You probably, nah. but then if you put in three re-rolls, it's pretty likely. You probably have to re-roll it, yeah, 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 yeah. 3-2 to win. Makes it. Makes it. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's how you win. A game of football. Right, what what was it? Um one, two, three threes, two fours, two twos. So that was 5% of doing it without re-rolls. 17 with 1, 28 with 2, and 35 putting in 3 re-rolls. Mm. I don't know what order you would... I don't know when you would, like, use the re-roll and when you would, you know, like, when you would stop using it. Putting in 3 re-rolls for a 1 in 3 chance... At the cost of all of your rerolls is pretty brutal though, right? Because now you've, you've lost all of them for overtime. Whereas you about 50% if you go to overtime, aren't you? Probably over 50% if you go to overtime. You're over 50% if you go to overtime with three rerolls. But then you've still got a chance of winning overtime with zero rerolls, don't you? Wow. 
Mr. Slow. I mean, incredible on it. The throw is just the worst, isn't he? So yeah, getting getting punched was good. Yeah, punched out one reroll. Yeah, you still got decent decent chances at zero. Zero rerolls. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe in overtime you like. Let's say in overtime. You. Sixty forty. With three rerolls, and then. You're. Uh, Let's say you're 50 50 with zero rerolls. So now you're taking a 30 up front. <laughs> a 35. And then you're splitting the other 65. So like 32. So that means like 67 instead of 60. It's like, it's interesting though, isn't it? It's interesting to work out whether it. You know, you should put in all rerolls on that. Well, the Blitz really seals the deal here on this Movement 7 1 turn. Uh, there's also Dark Elves and Rats. But yeah, I mean, they're the six best teams. People use knobs for some reason. Wait, why is he pushing him forward? <laughs> you just have to push him back. <laughs> I would have blitzed. I would have blitzed this one. I would have thought. But. There will be a knob team, yeah. But I mean. You know, only because there had to be. <laughs> only because there had to be a knob team. <laughs> there was a group with three knobs in. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Yes, yes, Will, yeah. Yeah, just don't reroll it if you skull. I think he should have done the one day, yeah. And yeah, as you say, easy to say now, but yeah. He one day with a mummy, right? And rerolled it, so. If you're gonna one day with a mummy, then uh, you. and reroll it, then you should definitely one day with a zombie and at least not reroll it. Like rerolling that mummy. The, one daying with the zombie and re-rolling it would have been you would have looked crazy right you would have looked completely crazy everybody would have thought you were a loon if you did that but it could have been right the way things happened but i don't think anybody would be expected to do that but yeah i guess looking back he should have he should have uh one diced and not re-rolled Gonna make a foul pointlessly on turn 16. Classic. There is a knob mirror today, yeah. There is. We've got a knob off later on. Makes the removal, gets sent off, and that's the end of the game. And Yatsek has won. And goes through to the round of 32 knockout stage. So there you go. Congratulations, Yatsek. Commiserations, Le Peg. And uh, yeah, as you can see, that was the table. They were all deadlocked on five points. k Falk scored the most touchdowns. So the playoff was just between Le Peg and Yatsek. And uh, yeah, what can I say? Um, Incredible, incredible touchdown that wasn't even that unlikely once, you know, with three rerolls available to put into it. So, well played both. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.